Hi, this is question number 8 from the AQA Further Pure 1 January 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go at doing the question. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go. I'm now going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. So for part A, um, my hint to you is that expand this part out here and then see if you can write it in a form um, where you've got a multiple of the summation of r um, a multiple of the summation of r squared and a multiple of the summation of r cubed you will then be able to write them in this form here once you've got it in that form you'll be able to um, factorize it a big tip is don't expand what you get you try and factorize it without expanding so you want to factorize it so that it looks like this here don't expand it though okay um, part B says hence find the value so I'll just move this over here uh, part B says hence find the value of this summation here so um, what makes this a little bit different is that we're not starting from one um, we're starting from 11 so um, I'll just give you a quick um, guide as to how you can go about doing this if you imagine that we're trying to add together um, lots of terms in this sequence we're trying to add together um, the 11th to the 20th term in this sequence so we'll highlight which bits we want okay however what we will have is once we've got this here is we'll know how to add from our first term to any number of terms we haven't got how to add from our 11th term to any number of terms just from our first term but what we can do is we can still use this because we can say well um, I know that oops, that all of these terms here, all 20 terms, um, I can work out the summation of that. I can also work out the summation of all of these terms here, which is the... And what you want to do is because you can work out the first 20 terms and you can work out the first 10 terms, decide what you can do to work out the 11th to the 20th term. Okay, those are my hints to you. Um, if you'd now like to stop the video and um, see if you can have a go. Okay, what if you managed to have a go? I'm now going to go with the answers um, to the solution to the question. Sorry, um, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Let's move that back down there for the time being. We might look at it again later. Okay, so um, part A. Let's do this time. Okay, we want to show that this um, is equal to this. So what I said is that we want to we want to um, expand these brackets. Um, so we're going to have the summation of. Um, four r cubed take away six r squared take away two r and um, we're going to write them as multiples of each of these summations here so um, that means that I'm going to have and I'm going to have four lots of r cubed take away six slots of the summation of r squared take away two lots of the summation of um, r okay so um, <coughs> that's going to be equal to well um, R cubed is um, this here and we've got four lots of 
that so that's just going to be n squared times n plus 1 squared and we're going to take away and r squared is this summation here and we've got six lots of it so um, that's just going to be n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 and finally we've got um, the summation of r which is this and we're taking away two lots of this so that's going to be take away n times n plus 1 now a big tip here and it's really tempted mm -hmm. to do it um, and I see lots of people do it all the time don't expand this you never want to expand this because you will end up with something that will be very very difficult for you to um, factorize again so um, what we're going to do is we're going to look for any common factors that we can see well there's an n term in everything and there's also an n plus one term in everything so I'm going to have n times n plus one those are going to be my common factors and I'm going to open up some brackets and that will be n times n plus 1 because this times this gives us this take away and we'll have 2n plus 1 here and take away and um, that's going to be a 1 there because 1 times n times n plus 1 gives us n times n plus 1 there we go so um, simplifying this uh, well I've got my n and my n plus 1 here and inside my brackets um, I can't factorize this anything further inside my brackets so I now do need to expand this so I'm going to have n squared plus n take away 2n take away 1 take away 1 ok so um, whoops, that one. so that's going to be um, and I'm just going to simplify what's in the brackets there so we've got n times n plus 1 and that's going to be n squared take away n take away 2 and this bit here will now factorize so that's going to be n times n plus 1 and this factorizes to n plus 1 times n take away 2 Yeah, so this part here is equal to this part here okay and um, this simplifies further because n plus 1 times n plus 1 is just n plus 1 squared and just looking over here we want to have it written in this form so I think my final answer is going to be n times n subtract 2 times n plus 1 squared so now we've got it in this form where p is negative 2 and q is 1. Okay, part b. So to work out this summation, um, we had a look at this earlier and we said that, well, um, we can work out the summation of all 20 and we can make out this, work out the summation of all 10. So if I did the summation of the whole 20, take away the summation, of the first 10 that will leave me for the submit of with the summation of the 11th term to the 20th term which is what we're looking for so I'm going to say I want the summation of all 20 um, sorry I want the summation of the 11th to the 20th term um, and that's going to be equal to the summation of all 20 
take away the summation of um, the first 10. Okay, so um, we've got a formula um, that we can use for this, um, which we've worked out, which is um, this here. So, um, my summation of my first 20, so the summation of the 11th to the 20th term is going to be equal to, and um, it will be what will what sorry the um, outcome of putting 20 into this take away the outcome of putting 10 into this so I'm going to do 20 times 18 times 21 squared take away 10 times 8 times 11 squared okay and that's going to be equal to and if you put that into your calculator you should get 158,760 which is this bit here take away 9,680 which is this bit here, and that is equal to um, 149,080. Okay, just to just to um, remind us about what's happened there. So um, we wanted to work out these terms here, the summation of these terms here. So we did the full summation, which was 158,760. And then we did the summation of the first 10, which was 9,680. And I did all of that, take away that there, and that left us with the summation of this bit here, which is 149,080. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Um, thanks for uh, joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.